Albert Pia is when Mary McKillop was born on the 15th of January 1842, the first of eight McKillop children to be brought into the world. Today we will be taking you through the life of Mary McKillop, giving you an insight through her growth, challenges and the legacy she left behind. Mary and her siblings lived an unsettled childhood but managed to be well educated through their father. God will provide became a main motto for the McKillop family. From the age of 14, Mary was often the primary provider for her needy family. However, in 1860, Mary made the big move to Panola of South Australia, where there was a steady, reliable income available. It was at this time where Mary began to feel a need to educate those experiencing hardship. These desires were shared when she met Father Julian Woods. In 1867, Mary became the first sister and mother superior of the Sisters of St. Joseph of the Sacred Heart. Although the responsibility she held of her family back home weighed heavily on her mind, her deep desire to serve God was in fact her dream, which was fast becoming her reality. Through Mary, students were given an opportunity to learn basic life skills and therefore improve their entire life situation. The year of 1869 marked Mary as a leader in her coming of age. The emerging religious life that Mary was embracing on, however, meant large challenges to face. Mary had been able to visit Father Julian Woods in the months leading up to his death in October of 1889. The St Joseph's Chapel at North Sydney was dedicated in his memory. 1909 was the year that Mary's health began to deteriorate and she was advised to travel to New Zealand for medical treatment where she suffered a stroke. This left Mary permanently disabled but she was still able to travel back to Australia. Mary kept in touch with her sisters through letters and occasionally visiting orphanages and schools to see children despite her ill health. Mary died on 8th of August, 1909. Mary has been recognised as a saint of the Universal Church and is a beacon of hope for Australia as well as the world. Mary McKillop was canonised in 2010 with her canonisation inviting us to continue making a difference in our world.